Hello everybody and welcome to my new LP which is this game, Troy Total War, which is a mod for Rome Total War Barbarian Invasion expansion pack. I haven't seen any campaigns of this on YouTube so I thought I'd start. And I've now got Fraps which means I can actually record this because I couldn't record this with my older software, it'd just be too bad. So let's begin. Uh, this game is also is sort of based on the film Troy, and if you haven't watched it, I would suggest you do. And you've got a large selection of factions here, and we're going to play the Messini, I think you, that's how you pronounce it. I'll probably get quite a lot, a lot of words wrong in this. Um, and your faction leader is Agamemnon, which is, he's sort of like in the film, he's the king of all the Greek cities, and they attack Greece. Uh, they know not Greece, they attack Troy. And uh, that's sort of the plan that we're going to be doing on this. Like, first concentrate on taking all of Greece, then cross the Aegean and attack Troy, which uh, at the time Troy was like a world power, really, in Asia Minor. So, this is what we got we got no advice, hard campaign difficulty, medium battle, battle difficulty, because I'm rubbish at battles manage all settlements, follow the AI and no battle time limits because battles sometimes didn't take 30 minutes, <laughs> they took days sometimes in history so let's begin I probably won't show you a um, battle in this episode well maybe, I don't know probably attack something and this is what we start off with. We've got a powerful culture, Eastern, but we're not Eastern, we're Greek. Uh, this is what we start off with, four settlements. Uh, what I normally do first is go to my capital, which is this city here. I'm not going to try and say that because I'll pronounce it wrong. And this is the scroll that comes up if you double click this city. And I'll just briefly go over what this stuff is. You've got the income of the city, the population, the public order which is important, the population growth per turn and the level, the, the population the town needs to be to upgrade to the next well, part, section, whatever you want to call it. And public order is important because it's like how happy the people are and anything above 100% is good. So we've got it quite high here, 165%. We can increase our taxes to the highest rate and it's still above that and the thing I want to build is roads because that increases tax uh, trade which means it increases the money you get and it also means your armies can move faster uh, the next town has no governor if you look at the the capital our king is the governor of this city Agamemnon the Great if you go to the next town it, the, pop, the public order is still high so we can increase our taxes um, the thing I'm going to build here is land clearance because better farming means more money. In Patria we have, I think it's yeah, the factionaire, so the son of Agamemnon. Uh, good public order again, we can increase the tax rate. I would normally build land clearance here, but we have no spies. Uh, spies are important so you can see further afield. So I'm actually going to build a market here so I can recruit spies. Um, also in Patria I'm going to build some more troops. I know one of these Axemen, I'm not going to say the names. Look at look how long these names are. No way. <laughs> and the final city, Tagia. Again, excellent public order and land clearance. Yes. And that's all our cities done. Next thing is our agent. So if you right click this button here, it uh, brings a, list, a scroll with uh, lists of things on. This is our agent list and all we have at the moment is a diplomat. We have no spies, no assassins, no nothing. And here's our diplomat on the map. And we're going to talk to our, these guys here, the Argive. I think they're really Argos, but on this they're called Argive, so let's talk to them. What we want is trade rights, map information, full map information, they accept. And they have an extra city here, but as you can see it's a different flag. If you look at the flag here it's sort of like, I don't know, a black head thing. This is a horse in brown. The reason being 
is because this is a mod and it uses Barbarian Invasion as its main game so it's like things here like um, here's Sparta that's actually a Spartan city but it's got the flag of the Eastern Roman Empire but we can also talk to the Spartans but we are allies with them we have military access and we already have trade rights but something we don't have is map information so we're going to get that and that they accept and there's their capital Sparta itself or as it says in here Sparty and I think there's also one settlement over here so I'm gonna go over here there's quite a lot of easy targets around here like this one not many units but I think oh no still selected my diplomat go away what I'm gonna do is um, next turn send an army into this rebel held land here and there's, I think there's a settlement around here which is lightly defended we can send my faction there with <coughs> a large amount of his for the forces to go and take the city but apart from that there's not much else we can do I want to try and build some watchtowers so I can see further a field and so I'm going to take Agamemnon and put him in this city and then build a watchtower about here so we can see further into these lands I think that's about it so let's end the turn I haven't played on this mod much but I oh wait a minute we've got this Thebes has talked to us they want trade rights I also want map information from them so let's see if we can get that yeah they accept it and it's that sort of yellow thing and if you look in the map in the left bottom left hand corner it's this yellow bit here that's Thebes before I was interrupted um, I haven't really played this much I've pl I haven't played as these guys before, what I'm playing as now. I have played as Sparta down here, and I've played as a faction that is on Cyprus here. But they're quite hard to play because they have no one near them. You may think that's a good thing because you won't get attacked. But it also means it's hard to trade and it's hard to get money, and you really, to begin with, have to conserve your cash. Uh, at the start of each turn, you get these sort of things come down events or whatever you want to call them. The first one is a financial um, screen and then we call it financial rounding up of the last turn as you can see we're losing money but that's because we've been building quite a lot of stuff uh, the roads are finished in our capital and that unit's been recruited in Patria. Uh, let's move our diplomat to see if there's any other people here yes we have the blue here, I don't know what they're called Pylos. Seems they only have one settlement. Oh, well, there's a Pylos diplomat there, we could have talked to him. Never mind. Oh, and look what this Argive army's done. They've marched into our lands. And it's led by their faction there. I won't attack them for this. But it does anger me because my capital's just there, they could easily attack it. It's annoying. But we haven't got our, the, enough forces at the moment. I'm going to build the watchtower. Really, ha it hasn't really increased our viewing of this area, but it has increased down here. Agamemnon, Agamemnon, can't say his name properly. You can go back in here now, and next turn, if that army moves, we can take him back to the capital. In the capital itself, we can build land clearance. I think everything else is building stuff. Yeah, diplomat stuck. And I did say I'd move this army out, so that's what I'll do. You have to leave a few, we don't have to, but you should leave a few units behind to keep public order up. See, it's already gone down to a blue face here. And as you can see, here's the rebel town I was talking about, Ellis. Lightly defended. Let's go and capture it. I'm not going to show you this battle, battle but... Um, I will show you the next one, so I'm going to auto resolve this one so the computer will decide the outcome of the the um, the outcome of the battle, and it was a close victory. See, if I if I had played it myself, I'd probably got a better victory than that, but I did, didn't really want to play it. So we won the city, or we won the battle. When you capture a settlement, you have a choice of three things to do with it. 
you can occupy the settlement peacefully, you can enslave the populace or exterminate them. I'm going to occupy peacefully because they're quite happy. Uh, increase the tax rate fully, still above 100%. I would normally build roads, but the city is near some enemies because I think there's an enemy on that island. These guys, the, the Nazifian can or something. So I'm going to build some wooden palisades as defence. And now back at Patria, I'm going to build some more troops. And also the public orders dropped significantly because my faction here and a large part of the army has been taken out. I'm going to have to uh, decrease the taxation to make to compensate for that. And sometimes your family members, like my fac the faction there, there, get some retune, no retinue, that's it, retinue. And he got this one, Veteran Warrior, which means he did pretty well in the battle, and it means he gets improved, improved stats. Um, but apart from that, there's not much else I can do <coughs> in this turn, so I'm going to actually end the part here. Uh, thank you very much for, very much for watching. Should be making another part soon, maybe even this week. And I hope this is a mod that you haven't seen before and you might actually get it. I might put the link in the description on where to get it from. There are loads of mods available for Total War games. So I'll see you next time.